So how much does it cost to run a truck per mile? What is the cost to run a truck per mile? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna give you a lot of information. For all you nerds, for all you number crunchers out there, this video is for you. If you love numbers and you like to analyze numbers the way I do, I promise you, you will get your value out of this video. So this video is really, really good for those of you thinking of becoming owner operators and wanna know what it costs to run a mile, okay? So what's the cost behind a mile? This video is also good for any dispatchers out there that wanna become dispatchers. There's been over a thousand forms filled out right now about my dispatch course i actually wanted only 50 people to fill out the form i've gotten over a thousand so for those of you that want to become dispatchers or are dispatchers and want to learn what the cost to run per mile today this video is definitely for you now also from those thousand forms there have been about half of you that want to open up your trucking company or small fleet so this video is definitely for you and if you're ever thinking of one day running your own small fleet or getting your own authorities look at this video Video because it's going to give you so much data on what it costs to run a mile. So follow along with me while I give you the breakdown of the driver pay, while I give you the fuel, the insurance, the trailer, the truck fee, the dispatch fee, the factoring fee, the repairs and maintenance, how much we should be putting aside, and a lot of other small expenses that we as small fleet owners or owner operators take upon ourselves. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, this channel is all about trucking. From pay comparison videos, educational videos, you want to become a flatbed driver, you want to get your class one license, well, this channel even guides you on how to do that. You want to become a small fleet owner, there's a six part series on how to open up your trucking company in the US. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And now without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so have a look at my Excel sheet over here. We have a company driver, we have an owner operator, or we're running the cost per mile to run the truck. Okay, so this is all these formulas are going to be based on 10,000 miles. And we're going to start with the fuel and and then the insurance and the truck, the trailer, the dispatch fee. And we're, we're gonna go over every single one of these and I'll actually do my formulas here on the right so you can see how I get to these figures. So first things first, we're gonna have to decide our fuel consumption. Now our fuel consumption is based on the national average. So we know that the national average today for buying a gallon of diesel is $4.63. Where do I get this information from? The freight and data analytics over here. Fuel prices right now, the current price, the national average is $4.63. But, okay, what I don't know is your fuel consumption. Well, I do know my fuel consumption. I don't know your fuel consumption. So I'm just going to populate a image over here. Okay, so here is an image of the different types of trucks out there. And this will kind of help you or guide you to figure out what your fuel consumption is. So for example, if you have one of the older trucks or flat nose trucks, you're probably running at about 5.5, 6 miles per gallon. Something a little newer, a little bit more aerodynamic, maybe a 2016, 17s probably running at about two, 6.5 to 7 miles per gallon. And then our trucks and our fleet are actually running at about 8 to 8.5 miles per gallon. We run the Cascadias. I'm not going to get too much into that, but if the national average right now is sitting at $4.63, which is probably over here, and our trucks are running at about 7.5 to 8 miles per gallon, we'll take about 65 cents per mile because it's kind of in between here and here. So what we're going to take is we're going to take about 63 cents per per mile is what it costs right now okay to run a truck now you can use this chart to see what kind of truck you have some of our trucks actually run at nine miles per gallon but i think the national average or i would say most people that i talk to are probably in between seven to seven and a half miles per gallon so it's safe to say it costs about 65 cents in diesel just to run one mile so let's uncover if we have 0.65 65 cents per mile is what it costs us to run a mile. Now, if you really want to know how I get to that, how I get to the 65 cents per mile, I, I actually take $4.63, which is what it costs us per gallon. And if the driver drives at seven miles per gallon, so I take $4.63, divide that by seven miles per gallon, it gives me 66 cents per mile is what it costs. So I took 65 because we're hovering around seven and a half to eight miles per gallon. So we're gonna take 65 cents per mile is what it costs us right now to run a mile. So here we go. This formula came in at 69 cents, but we'll put it at 0 0.65 cents per mile. Now the driver's pay, I think it's safe to say, I mean, what we pay out of Atlanta, Georgia is 65 cents per mile. So we can kind of uncover the driver's pay. All right, now the point of this exercise is we're gonna go through all these expenses and at the end of the day, we're gonna know what it costs to run per mile. So when we are booking loads, or I, a lot of you like to see my skits on how to book a load, right? So if I'm booking over the rate per mile that it costs for a, that it costs us to run a truck, 
right? If I'm booking under that, then obviously the company's coming out at a loss. If I'm booking over that, then we're profitable. So let's see what that rate per mile is, which is basically your break even point. Now, insurance. Now, for anybody new, this is all based on 10,000 miles. So for anybody new, I kind of have here a breakdown of the insurance cost. And this is pretty much what, what it costs for insurance premiums. So if it's your first year, if it's a brand new fleet, you're probably paying anywhere between 30 to $36,000 per year is what it costs to insure one truck. If you're on your second year, then it's gonna cost you between 24,000 to $30,000. And if you're on your third year, which you have history of two full years, you're probably looking at anywhere between 18 to $24,000. So based on this formula right here, and based on the fact that so many of you guys wanna open up small fleets, I'll take the one that's about $30,000 is what an annual, what it would cost annually. Now, if I divide $30,000 into 12 months, we're looking at about $2,500 a month. And if you take $2,500 a month and you divide that by 10,000 miles, it actually costs you 25 cents per mile, okay, is what your insurance fee is. So let's uncover box number two, 0.25 is what it costs. Now, your truck, now this, sorry guys, I'm gonna put my phone on do not disturb. So your truck, what does a truck payment cost? Well, it really depends on which kind of truck you're gonna get. You're gonna get old, you're gonna get new. But today, approximately, I, I will steer everybody away from getting a brand new truck because it's just not worth it. Your monthly payments are gonna be through the roof. Now, if you wanna see my breakdown and calculation on, on brand new units, I'll do it very, very quick just because I, I don't want this video to be 25 minutes long. In this link, I've put a calculator there for you guys all to play around with. So in reality, I'm probably buying 100. I, I, I would not, if you're an open a brand new fleet I mean I would probably get a 2021 or a 2020 maybe 2022 I would not go with a brand new unit unless you have a lot of money to put down why because the payments are really really high on a brand new unit so let's just quickly count hundred thousand dollars if I put twenty thousand dollars down I'll finance eighty thousand dollars today's interest rate you're probably looking on a on a used truck with flawless credit you're probably looking about nine to ten percent we'll use nine and a half and the duration I'll probably put 36 months I do not I don't think it would be smart to do it for much longer longer duration if you're getting a 2021 or 2022. So we're going to take this scenario over here where your payments are $2,500. We will go back to the Excel sheet, $2,500. Now, if I take $2,500 and divide that by 10,000 miles, your monthly payment will come out to 25 cents per mile. Now, the same thing we're going to do on a trailer. So let's go back to the calculator. We'll get a payment for a trailer. A trailer today, I mean, the used trailer will probably cost you about $30,000. Hopefully you'll put $10,000 down. You will finance $20,000 dollars with the interest rate will probably be a little bit higher on that in the same 36 months yeah 36 months so you're probably looking about seven cents per mile six and a half to seven cents per mile is what you're looking at when you are driving 10,000 miles so here we go right here let's uncover the next box I put 15 cents it's a little bit high we'll probably get seven and a half cents per mile well, okay, we'll take eight cents per mile. Now, dispatching fee. So a lot of new new people that are opening up their authorities, they'll probably end up hiring a dispatch company. If you are looking for a dispatch company, you can fill out a form that I created below. It will get forwarded to a dispatch service and then they can reach out to you. I highly recommend that you interview a couple of dispatch services before you decide on who to go with. If you are paying, if you're out there and you're paying more than 6% in dispatching fees, you those prices are just way too high. So if you are paying more than 6%, okay you should be renegotiating your rates there's a lot of dispatch services out there and good ones there that charge between five to six percent again if you fill out that form below that I've created I can forward it to a dispatch company let them get in touch with you and give you competitive prices so approximately here I put for a dispatch fee okay it is going to be about six percent six percent running at a national average is probably gonna cost you about 12 cents per mile because national average is kind of hovering around the two dollars per mile now maintenance and repairs no sorry factoring fee now if you have one or two power units i do recommend that you factor your invoices there's no need to wait for 30 40 45 days two and a half percent of you know maybe twenty five thousand or thirty thousand dollars is what you're going to be factoring per month there's no need to hold on to your receivables we're actually looking at about 
five cents per mile is what it's going to cost you in factoring fees, which is about two and a half percent. Now, maintenance and repairs. So this is a big one. It could be really, really high. It could be very, very low. I like to take about 10 cents per mile. If you're doing 10,000 miles, it's about $1,000 a month. Some people say that's not enough. Some people say you should count for about 15 or 20 cents. My rule of thumb is about 10 cents. I feel like that's a fair number. You know, once every month or second month, you'll have to do the oil change. And then if you keep putting the 10 cents per mile away, then it should it should last you for the duration of the three, four years. Now, other. What do I mean by other over here? So there's other fees. I took another 10 cents and other. There's a lot of fees for small fleet owners, like the load boards, like e-logs, like your phone system, your tracking device. You know, if you're using a CRM, you know, Microsoft, uh, we have Microsoft over here, whether you're using Microsoft or Google, it doesn't really matter. You know, the tolls haven't been accounted over here. Accounting fees like services uh, have not been accounted here and taxes have not been accounted here. But aside from the taxes, I think it's safe to say that another 10 cents per mile is what it would cost you to run that truck. Just, you know, putting a little bit more money aside for these other these other fees. So if we tally up everything, today's rates to run a power unit okay for running one truck is going to cost you a dollar sixty cents one dollar and sixty cents now this is not taking into account where you're parking that truck where you're parking that trailer you know it does take into account the driver the fuel i mean all the expenses that we have over here but again this is the bare minimum today of starting out a brand new fleet or the cost of running per mile is a dollar sixty per mile okay so all these negotiations that i'm doing if you are you need to know this first before you can start booking your load because there's no way you can start booking under this amount because then you are running at a loss okay so you need to at least book you know over this amount yes some some destinations will give you a lot more per mile i mean there's some lanes that pay 240 250 260 but then the return haul pays you about a dollar 40 or a dollar 30 on average if that average that round trip is over a dollar 60 per mile then you're going to be profitable if it comes under that amount then you are running at a loss now all these bankruptcies that we see every everywhere that's because the national average has gotten so low that these companies cannot run on average or maybe their expenses are way too high right but their their round trip rates are coming under their cost per mile and the cost per mile is very important to know so i've done just a brief analysis there's a lot more expenses here some of you might agree with you some of you might not agree with me but so this is this is a very generic calculation there's a lot more that can go into this and we can break this down even into a lot more detail by actually taking out the expenses for the e-logs for the phone system for the tracking devices these are all you know fifty dollars here hundred dollars there fifty dollars here but all these expenses do add up and as a small fleet owner if you want to open up your small fleet and i get requests Quests for consultations all the time for small fleet owners okay for those of you that want to open a trucking company you're more than welcome to book a consultation with me if you're not going to book the consultation with me it's fine just make sure you have a mentor out there somebody that's teaching you the ropes you can save a lot of money by not making mistakes that other people do there's a lot of mistakes through my consultations that i see there's a ton of mistakes that people do in the first year or first two years that really set you up for failure moving forward so make sure you have a mentor make sure you have somebody that has done it before that can teach you the ropes that can show you how to minimize these costs per mile this is all a numbers game in trucking i don't want to say it's a pennies game but if you save three cents here four cents here nine cents here eight cents over there that really is your profit is about 15 20 25 cents you know during the bad times then obviously when there's a huge wave like we saw two years ago it can be extremely profitable right but you have to be able to learn how to be profitable when it is horrible out there okay so hopefully you learned something from this video if you did learn something from this video give it a thumbs up put a comment down below whether you agree with me or don't agree with me no need to bash me in these comments okay i'm also a human being i'm ronan and i'll see you in my next video